Welcome to Be Adventures. I'm Bryce. I'm Elise. And today we are going to take you on a gluten free eating tour around Disney World. We're going to hit some places in Disney Springs and a couple of the resorts. Yeah, when you go to Disney World, you don't always have to go into the parks. No, you don't. There's some really fun places uh, and things to do, even if you are just hanging out at the resorts. You have access to these boats just hanging out at the resorts. You have access to all the buses just the hanging out at the Skyliner. resorts. The Skyliner. The Skyliner, the monorail. Yeah. There's lots of fun things and lots of fun gluten-free eating around Disney World for you to enjoy. Yes, incredible, incredible spaces uh, that you don't even have to pay to get into. You can just drive your car down and eat some gluten-free goodies. Yeah, so we're going to start off in Disney Springs. The very first night we ate at the Polite Pig. Which was a barbecue place and we ended up getting, I believe, the sampler. Yes, there was like a sampler plate, or like the plate for two, and it was plenty of food. <laughs> plenty of food and excellent food, guys. Great barbecue mm -hmm. and no complaints from me. No, there was good links, good pulled pork, good brisket. Yep. Everything you possibly could want and all a lot of really good gluten-free options. Again, super hungry. We forgot to film it. So sorry. We're getting We ate it that. before we filmed it. Yep. So let's go to somewhere else. Uh, in Disney Springs that we actually did get footage of. Yeah, yes! Yeah. Uh, we actually ended up going here twice just because the lines to get food in Disney Springs... Were really long. Because you don't have to go into the park to get it. But this yes. is Deluxe Burger, which is really hard to find on the map. So we are working... We found it. Look found at us. It. <laughs> and, uh, this is a burger place. They've got gluten-free buns. They've got... They only have a few burgers. I think four of them. Uh, and they've got a plant-based burger if you're vegan, and they have a gluten-free bun. And mm -hmm. it was excellent both times. Really, really cool spot right on the water. Yeah, beautiful seating. There was Look some outdoor that. seating. We typically chose to sit outdoors because it was nice. It was nice. Um, and, yeah, again, it had decent lines. Like, the lines weren't ever that bad. Um, which was really nice. It is right across the way from Blaze Pizza, too. We tried to go there one night, but again, the line was like... It's like around the corner. Yeah, it, it was, was ridiculous. Crazy. So Deluxe Burger was a, was worth the wait. It's right here on the left. Yeah, you're looking at the building. I mean, it's yeah. it's just gorgeous. Cool little uh, old farm-type building, I guess. Uh, and, and it is a quick service, so you can just put yes. in your order, and then they buzz you, and then you come pick it up. Yep, yeah, you, um, they've got lots of tables around. There's there's some tables out front here mm -hmm. uh, that you're looking at, and then you've got tables inside, and then you also have tables on, like, a back patio mm -hmm. that is right on that water that we showed you just a minute ago. Uh, if we would get inside the building, we could show you guys uh, what's going there. on here. We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, and as we make our way into the building, you can see the little line that we had. Not too bad. This is the back porch seating. Great location. Great spot. We could always find tables out here because everyone was looking for tables inside. Yeah. Uh, here's the half-eaten burger because you know how the deal is. We get hungry and we eat quickly. Sure. But look at We remembered to film, kind of. Yeah. But it was really good. I mean, good amount look of meat the that you get. size of that. Mm-hmm. And then quite a good amount of fries, too. I believe both of us got the bacon burger. Yeah. And, again, same bun that you're going to see in the parks. Uh, Disney, again, great at streamlining. You see that bun, you know it's gluten-free. But they always, of course, put in the allergy-friendly stick, too. Yes, very nice to know for sure that it is gluten-free. All right, on to the next place. This is maybe our favorite place in Disney Springs to eat gluten-free. No, hands down, it is. It is. Hair McKenna's. Uh, this is a bakery that is completely gluten-free and vegan. Entirely. Entirely. So anything that they have on their shelves is gluten-free. That means cinnamon rolls. That means cakes. That means donuts. That means cookies. That Cupcakes. Means anything that you can think of it was... that is a baked good, they have it right in stock, sitting on a shelf, if you get there early enough, because they sell out. Uh, and, yeah, incredible. Little Kind of hidden in here, right by the, um, the boat place yeah the boathouse it's right by the boathouse right where the car rentals are for amphicars it's right in there um you're going to look for it if you're looking at the amphicars it's going to be on your left as you can see the amphicars will be straight forward there so uh this is the spot for gluten-free people in disney springs i am telling you also if you're not gluten-free if you're not vegan also 
really delicious. It doesn't matter. Still Stop fantastic. In. It's great. Yeah. Um, and then you can come around here, and they do have a display case that is just full of goodies. Uh, seriously, so delicious. Anything Look. that's in the case does need to be refrigerated. Anything outside the case does not. Yes. But so many different options. We actually took we, a lot of this home. <laughs> we dropped a lot of money here. But it is so good. Everything was delicious. It, oh my gosh, please go. They also ship. So look so if up you try McKenna's. something, Yeah, if you try something that you like at Aaron McKenna's or you want to try Aaron McKenna's, they ship, I think, I don't know if it's worldwide, but it's definitely... It's definitely inside the U.S. Yeah, definitely inside the U.S. It might maybe worldwide, but... This is another place that we absolutely love. Not in Disney Springs, though. This is in the Riviera, and mm -hmm. it has excellent gluten-free options. Yeah, so this uh, is kind of their, like, quick service in the Riviera. Um, another great place if you want to go here, eat lunch, then go on the Skyliner. Uh, the Skyliner takes you from the Riviera to Epcot or to kind of the hub uh, where you can get on any of the other lines. And these guys made us a great... Gluten-free pizza. Yeah, and gluten-free uh, burger. What else am I going to get? And and <laughs> Disney's uh, pizza crust, I don't know if they've made it themselves or they're buying it. It's got a little rise to it. It's a yes. really nice, soft crust. Uh, and these guys, there's not a flame, a, you know, flame oven or whatever. So if you don't like the oven-done pizzas or the, the fire oven, brick oven pizzas, um, this is not that type of place. But this is on the bottom floor of the Riviera. So if you're in the lobby, you're going to make your way down the stairs. Uh, and then you're going to just follow the signs for food. You're going to take a right, and then it's going to take you right here. Uh, and also, they have some prepackaged gluten-free treats as well. There's, like, my favorite gluten-free yogurt-covered oh, pretzels. Yes. There's cookies. That. There's also those things that you can just pick up and also eat, too. And if you're not gluten-free, they do have a ton of things in the case. Yes. Like a typical uh, Italian bakery type thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I had one of those fancy soda machines. But it's right next to the pool, right next to the bochi. Um, Man, look at that burger. Too. Yes, this burger was so good. It had like garlic aioli, really yummy like gouda cheese. It was a gourmet burger. And this is what the pizza came in. And so it actually had clicked on there and had checked off that it was gluten-free pizza yeah super good uh with the sausage and everything like that enough cheese on there and then we hopped into the skyliners yeah we're going to fly away now to our next location the skyliner is also really fun just to ride it's a great time <laughs> Uh, um, if you don't like heights, not a great time for you. Yes. So we actually did ride the Skyliner, but then we got on a bus to go to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, this actually, we didn't eat anything here, but it was just a really cool place to go and visit. Uh, we just we wanted said, to tease you with the animals. <laughs> we said hi to the giraffes. Um, they do have some good uh, food options here, um, but for this one, we didn't actually eat here. But they do have a few like different lounges and stuff if you wanted to get like a cocktail. Or things like that. Alrighty, now we are back on our food journey, taking us to the Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge. And we're gonna go to Whispering Canyon Cafe. This place was so good. This was very entertaining. <laughs> it was entertaining, you. yeah. Don't, is, a, don't ask for ketchup here. Do or do. See what happens. Yeah. But the Whispering Canyon is a very uh, play on words because it is not a quiet canyon. <laughs> it is not. If you want a quiet meal, Whispering Canyon is not, not for you. But it was a good time. Uh, Wilderness Lodge was just really fun to like walk around. It was very, uh, I think it was like based off of Yellowstone or Yosemite. Yeah, Yosemite. It's, it's very similar yeah. to the Grand Californian uh, as far as style goes. But yeah. uh, Yosemite and Yellowstone, because of the geysers and stuff like that, you'll you'll mm -hmm. see some touches. They of have either. like an Old Faithful and stuff. Yep, yep. Uh, but it was very fun to walk around because there was a little bit of a wait. Uh, but beautiful architecture. It was a beautiful place. And uh, Whispering Canyons was right there when you came into the it's, building. Yeah, it's right on the left side right when you come through the doors. Right there. Right there. Look at that timing. Man alive. It's like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, but it was served as like a uh, family style. So you would get one. You could share it. I believe the one that I got you technically weren't supposed to share. But oh my gosh, it was way too much food for one person to eat. 
Um, so Bryce got like an appetizer, and then he just kind of has shared the food with it me. Was, there was so much food that they were coming out with that we like had to share it with the table. And it was all you care to eat. It was so all you can eat, yeah. They would bring you out more food if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, it was kind of crazy, yeah. but it was no, it was no. really good food. All right, well, let's take it and show you some of that yummy food. Yeah, so this is the restaurant, and it is open to, like, the hotel and everything. Um, and they have some really great options, too, for, like, just parties with more people in it. Um, so that was also great. They gave you, like, these little tins, and this is what was made for one person. Yeah. Like I said, I needed to share the love. <laughs> um but everything was so good. Look at all that meat, the mashed potatoes. I remember the, the green sausage. Beans. The sausage was so good. Oh, and everything that, was so yeah, good. I just this. They had gluten free cornbread. Oh yes, they had so gluten free good. cornbread. Oh my gosh, guys. We literally brought this back to the room because we ate way too much. Um, and then Bryce got the nachos. Super good. Uh, nice little meal. But I think the trick it here is to order something and then share it. They they really discourage it though. Is what's interesting. But that was like thirty eight bucks for like that one big piece that big plate but again worth it because it was a lot of food but you, but you got to be able to share it yeah <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed our tour of downtown disney or disney springs and the disney resorts gluten-free options we didn't hit everything obviously but we hope that uh, we showed you guys some new things that maybe you didn't know before yeah there's a lot of really great options fun things to do at disney world without having to go in the parks yes so if you enjoyed this and got some value out of this amazing content, you should subscribe to the channel, and uh, we will see you guys around the bend. See you next time.